BC Ferries is warning travelers if they haven't already booked in advance for the long weekend, they could be in for long waits since Easter long weekend is one of the busiest travel times of the year. This comes as a new survey has just been released that asks the public what their top priorities are when it comes to the ferry service. Monica Gould has more on that story. As the busy spring and summer travel season gets underway for BC Ferries, we're finding out exactly what passengers think of the service. The wait times are reasonable. Prices are getting a little higher, but I think that's understandable. So overall, I'm very satisfied. According to survey results released by BC Ferries, reliability, affordability, and better integration with transit and active transportation are top priorities for riders. Nearly 10,000 people filled out the online survey in fall 2023. Reliability has been an issue. Uh, it's always sold out recently. More and more of the prices are going up and people don't have money. And re reliability is a big thing. Oh, I love the BC Ferries. I like them quite a bit. I mean, they're usually on time, reliable. Overall, you know, they, everybody tries to be friendly. You know, they do their best. Um, but the biggest challenge for me is as a, as a dog owner is that, you know, their pet room is about the size of this table and um, there's often not enough room. BC Ferries says they did the survey to get feedback from the public to help shape short-term and long-term decisions. They say they've already taken action by bringing back and expanding discounted fares for less busy travel times starting April 1st. We're doubling the number of saver fare discounts. More people will be able to get travel for, uh, for cheaper prices. Uh, when they book ahead. I like the saver. If you can do the savers, those are good. Um, but a lot of times I can't make those times driving up from the States. From staffing shortages to broken down vessels, Jeff Groot admits last summer was a challenge for BC Ferries. He says they've made changes this year to be better prepared for the upcoming peak season, including the hiring of 1,200 people over the last year, which he says has made an impact this fiscal year. When you look at the first three quarters of this year compared with the first three quarters of, that, of last year, we're seeing a significant decrease in the number of sailing cancellations that are cancelled as a result of crew shortages. So that's down by a third. He says they've also reduced the window for when they do their yearly refit for about 20 of their ships. So that we're going to be sailing at full capacity uh, for our peak summer season. BC Ferries says based on the survey results, it will focus on five key areas, including integration of ferry services into the wider transportation network and approaches to pricing and demand management. I mean, it beats, you know, rowing your own boat. <laughs> In Delta, Monica Gould, City News.